first appearing in X Factor number 5 from 1986. Apocalypse can alter the atomic structure of his body to change shape, can increase his size by absorbing additional mass, and possesses superhuman strength, stamina, and durability. Born nearly 5,000 years ago in ancient Egypt, Apocalypse is one of the earliest known mutant humans. As En Saba Nur, or the first one, he traveled the world for thousands of years, sometimes hibernating for many years at a time. He often instigated wars to test which nations were fittest, and he was worshipped as a god by ancient civilizations. He had a hand in creating not only Dracula, but also Mr. Sinister, and a wide number of people have served as his four horsemen. Famine, war, pestilence, and death. In the 20th century, Nur, now called Apocalypse, decided the emerging mutants were destined to supplant unfit ordinary humans. He battled the original X-Factor and the X-Men, who were dedicated to peaceful coexistence between mutants and other humans. Apocalypse sometimes even recruited his foes to become his horsemen. Accordingly, both Angel and Wolverine have taken the role of death at different times. Apocalypse's greatest foe throughout the time is Cable, whose birth was engineered by Mr. Sinister and proved such a powerful moment that it awakened Apocalypse from his hibernation. Determined to raise Cable as his own to keep him under control, the Apocalypse of the 37th century, who had conquered North America, mistakenly captured Cable's clone Strife and raised him instead. This proved a poor strategy when Strife traveled to the 20th century to try and kill Apocalypse. Though he was extraordinarily long-lived, Apocalypse's physical body eventually wore out. He survived by projecting his consciousness into host bodies, including those of X-Man and Cyclops. Cable destroyed Apocalypse's spirit after Jean Grey ripped it from Cyclops' body. After M-Day, Apocalypse returned again, this time after a drop of his Technovirus infected blood created a body for him. He tried to rebuild his horsemen and forced the remaining mutants to join his cause, while the Celestials, who had loaned him much of his technology long ago, returned to collect payment for his debt in the form of his body. In the present day, Clan Akaba, a cult run by Apocalypse's many descendants, revived Apocalypse as a child. X-Force stopped them, and Phantom X killed the child while the other members of X-Force argued over what to do with him. Phantom Mex then secretly cloned him, raising him in a simulated environment to become a hero called Genesis, who could defeat Archangel. The child, now known as Evan Sabaner, was then sent to study at the Jean Grey School for Higher Learning. He later joined the time-displaced X-Men, and met the younger version of Apocalypse while traveling back in time to ancient Egypt with Hank McCoy. After briefly turning into an evil adult self during the X's event, he reverted to his younger self and went on the run with Deadpool. The X-Men were later caught up in a fight with a version of Apocalypse from the distant future. He was seemingly destroyed after Nightcrawler threw him into a vortex, threatening to destroy Limbo. No matter how many times Apocalypse has been killed though, he always seems to return stronger and more deadly than ever. Comment down below what videos you'd like to see in the future, and when you think we'll see Apocalypse enter the MCU. Remember to like the video, and subscribe for more Marvel content, and follow me on my various platforms listed in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again tomorrow.